Hey guys, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. In this episode, we're going to give you four drills to improve your squat clean technique. Drill number one is a tall muscle clean. The intent behind this drill is to build a better turnover. To begin this movement, start with the barbell at the hip, then think about pulling the barbell high before transitioning your elbows through to finish with a relaxed front rack position. A common fault we see here is athletes reverse curling the bar, so pulling the barbell away from the body, and then when they get to that front rack position, keeping a really tight grip, which doesn't allow us to let the elbows stay high and the barbell to relax in the shoulders. Drill number two is a scarecrow clean. The intent behind this drill is to understand that we pull our body underneath the bar instead of pulling the bar as high as we can and then dropping into our squat. For a quick demo, PD is going to pull the bar to just below his chest. He's going to pause for three seconds and then immediately transition into his squat clean. A common fault we see here is athletes over pulling the bar. So if PD was to pull the bar to just below the chest, a common fault we'll see will be athletes will pull the bar higher before they then drop underneath. We can see this clearly by the bar crashing onto his shoulders. Drill number three is the mid thigh clean. This is to develop better leg drive and extension through our clean position. To start this drill, lower the barbell to mid thigh. We want to think about having the legs loaded and the shoulders stacked over the bar. From there, you're going to perform your squat clean, keeping the same speed we developed in our first two drills. A common fault we see here, as athletes load the leg from this position, and they pull the barbell up the body into their extended position or vertical jump position, they then punch the hips into the bar which sends the bar out in front of the body. This will sweep the bar around and once again, we'll see this as a common fault because the barbell crashes onto the shoulders. So think in slow-mo, as we pull the barbell up, we want to think extension at the top, we're staying vertical and then we drop underneath fast. Our final drill we're going to do is a halt and clean. We're going to start from the floor here. If you have no plates on the barbell, start mid shin position. Our focus here is to build better positions as we move through our clean. So to start, you're going to pause at the knee. So you're simply going to pull slowly along the leg till you get to that knee position. We want to think about legs loaded. The quad should be active here and our knees slightly pulled back. From there, you're going to go immediately into your full squat clean. Looking for that speed underneath the bar again. A common fault we'll see here is our pull off the floor. So guys, I want you to think about your knees as speed bumps. You're gonna pull really slowly, making sure that you're just pulling your knees back as the barbell comes along the legs, and then you're gonna bring the speed after the knees. A common fault we see here, as we pull off the floor, the hips shoot up first, and then the shoulders follow, which creates that then, once again, that the hips punch the bar away from the body, and the bar crashes onto the shoulders. Okay guys, I hope these tips help. Thank you.